Sometimes it's useful to introduce this notation we're going to talk about now, the bra ket, or sometimes also known as the Dirac notation. So in quantum mechanics so far, what we've had is um, integrals. For instance, an integral from, uh, say, minus infinity to infinity of, say, psi star psi d tau. And that takes a lot of writing. What we can introduce is a simplified notation. Represent this by psi, up and down arrow, psi. So these brackets mean um, integral. And this means uh, separation between those two. The stuff on this left-hand side is a complex conjugate. And over here is the uh, wave function. So in uh, the rest of this uh, lecture, we're going to use this uh, Dirac notation just to save ourselves from writing this, these integrals all the time. Again, on the left-hand side of this uh, vertical bar here means complex conjugate, and on the right is just the wave function. Sometimes we're interested in these kinds of integrals, minus infinity to infinity, of say psi star, and then you have an operator operating on psi d tau. Well, in the Dirac notation, we could just write this more simply as psi bar and then a operator times psi. And that sometimes can also be written, or that can also be written as psi a psi. And again, the things over here are complex conjugate. This is similar to the inner product or dot product in vector uh, notation, like i dot j. This is uh, psi, and in general, these can be two different wave functions, psi, psi. Um, and again, if you have the dot product, if the two vectors you're dot producting uh, are perpendicular, uh, then it's equal to zero. Similarly, if these two wave functions, say, characterized by different quantum numbers, m and n, if they're different and they're orthogonal, then this, this product here, will be equal to zero. So similar to the dot product when you're just talking about regular uh, vectors, but this now is for complex numbers. All right, and again, the um, one with the, uh, on the left-hand side is called the bra, and on the right-hand side is called the ket, and together it's called the bra ket or bracket. Uh, somebody thought that name up, uh, probably uh, Dirac, Dirac notation. And so again, if um, you see something we'll be using is a symbol such as this, what that means is we're integrating over uh, some region of space, um, or it doesn't have to be some region of space, but um, it means essentially this integral here. And then you can also um, use Dirac notation uh, when you have uh, the system in a particular state. We can denote that state by uh, this bracket here. So psi, again, it can be a complex number, and when you put the bracket on the other side, when you make the bra, you take the complex number and take the complex conjugate and write it that way. Alright, so that's just notation. We're not learning anything new, but we're just learning new ways of writing things.